This is Carlotta from IT Support in um, EcoGood. And we want today um, make a short introduction to our wiki and our public part and um, also a bit maybe in our general part of the wiki to let you know um, how you can work with it and where you find the main information. With me yeah, today is Gus, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great. My name is Gus, and I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how the wiki works. OK, I'll share my screen. So the best place to start is if you just go to my.ecogood.org. And here you'll see um, all the different IT services that the ECG um, supports and offers. Here in the middle, I'll just click on the wiki. And then here I um, begin at the landing page, the start page. This is a public section of the wiki. It's available to anybody. You don't need a login. And this um, section offers information about um, starting a local chapter. You find information here about the ECG governance. You find um, links to other important sections of our wiki. Um, then to really use the wiki, you need to log in. And to log in, you need a ECG account. So I'm going to just log in here with my account. And then <clears throat> go back to the public page. It looks the same. Um, and so the first thing to get started is to find the information you're looking for. And the easiest way to find something is just to enter um, what you're looking for up here. So um, if you're looking for something about ECG hubs or about the Federation, then you can just enter it here and find the links. Um, the other way of finding information is using this starting page and using the links that we offer here. Here you find some of the most important areas and over here some more important um, documents that'll help you get started in the ECG. So basically the wiki is divided up into different um, so-called spaces and you will find these spaces up here by clicking this button. It'll look different on your computer because um, these are my personal settings. To find all the spaces, you can just click here under space directory and you'll find all the spaces that are available. And if you, for instance, um, live in Germany and you want access to the German space, if you click here on the right, you can add this to your favorites. Or if you know you work in the in a hub, you can add the hub as your favorite. And that just means that um, when you click up here on spaces, they these favorites will appear here. So that's the spaces. And generally also on the left here, we have a navigation section with the most important spaces. So for instance, we have a space called ECG general where you find general information about um, various aspects of the ECG. For example, um, information about our governance, information about the International Federation, the management team. You'll find information here about local chapters, and you'll also find information about IT tutorials, about project management, uh, about projects that can be um, that are happening in the movement. That's the ECG general space. The other one is the hubs. If you click on the left under hubs, you'll find a section with all of the ECG hubs. And basically, um, each hub, people involved in those hubs, use this wiki to collect their minutes to collect important documents that they're working on or to collaboratively work together on different 
issues. So I, for example, involve, I'm involved in the communications hub. So if I go in there, I'll find a section uh, on the minutes, meetings, and all the minutes from the last five years, if um, interested. And so I can also find the current minutes that the communication hub has recorded. And I'll also find some other important documents um, that the ECG, that the communication hub has created. Um, so if you're involved in a hub, this is the place to go. This is the place where the hubs collect most of their important information. Um, I'll go back to the main area. There's also a section or a space called working groups where you can find most of the working groups in the ECG. Um, here on the left, you see a long list of all of the working groups. Some of them might be in German because the working groups are just in German. Some of them down here you'll see um, are in English. So again, here, this working group might record its minutes here or project files that it's collaboratively working on will be collected here. So um, one of the other things that we recently started is here a feedback section about the Common Good Workbook. So if you have any suggestions or feedback or critique or comments about any cap chapters within the workbook, you can go here and add them. And another important section or space is the country spaces. So we have for each country within the ECG, we have a extra space. Here in Germany, you'll see information about all of the different associations, local chapters, and working groups within Germany. So um, the next thing is the issue of, of, of permissions. Some pages are visible to everybody and some pages are only visible to people within that working group or whatever. So, um, and some pages, pages are visible, but you can't edit them. So you'll see here, let's see if I go to the hubs, if I go to the communication hub and maybe to their minutes, I can see here with this um, little symbol here, I can see that these pages are unrestricted. Nobody, uh, everybody can see them and actually everybody can edit them too. But if you, if your group says, well, we don't want everybody to edit our minutes, we only want certain people to edit them. Then you can just go here and click on edit restrictions. And then you add the individual people who you um, want to have access. You can add people or you can also add groups here. So it's very easy to limit the who can see your pages and also limit who can edit your pages. Um, so if the next two things are, um, are, are editing pages and creating new pages. So if I'm here in the communication hub and I have a new project or a new project idea, and I just want to create a new page to, so that my team can work together on this issue, all I do is click up here on create. And then a new page is created and I'll just say um, project idea from Beth. And that's the title of this new page. It's also important this to give a good name for the title. So I might even wanna say like within the communication hub or something. So that if somebody just sees this individual page title, they'll know that it has to do with the communication hub. And then here I can basically just start writing. Um, there's a really nice um, formatting tools here. So if I have a header, header one, header two, if I just mark this 
heading one and then click up here onto heading one and it'll appear in larger just like in word or heading two um, if i have a picture that i want to add it's very easy you can just take the picture from your desktop and drag and drop it right into here so you can easily add pictures you can move them around and once you're done, you need to click on save and your page is saved. One of the default things we've done is that each new page automatically has a table of contents showing the headers and also a list of any pages underneath this page, any sub pages. So if I now want to continue working on this page, I just click up here on edit and I can work on it, make any changes. And I just need to click on save when I'm done. <clears throat> and um, up here, you see all of kind of typical um, formatting possibilities with bullet points and numbered lists. A really nice feature that I like is the checkbox uh, for to do issues. If you write a to do, and then you click here on this checkbox, it turns into a checkbox to do. Um, there's a, so many things to explain. The wiki is pretty complicated. I mean, there's a lot of features, but that's basically all you need to do to start editing and creating new pages. Um, there's also a table tool up here. So if you wanna insert a table, you have a nice, uh, way of, of editing tables. Up here, there's a list of, of macros. These are um, pieces of code. They're little programs that give you extra features. And one common thing might be just this info box. And if I add that, insert that in here. Oh, okay, I didn't want to put it there. So I have an info and I say like, watch out. And then I save it. And I have down here, this nice little info box. So th those are the macros that you have available. Um, you can just use it like a normal text editor and manage. If you wanna, Get any if you want to get in, in uh, email notifications if anybody changes your page, you can click on watching here and click watch page and get any um, and anytime any, anybody changes this page, you will get an email saying that somebody has changed your page. Yeah, well, I think that's almost everything that I wanted that I think is the most important for working with this tool. And um, just feel free to use it. Um, it's there for everybody available. Um, and if you have any questions about using it, then write to IT support and you'll get any get help and 